Hello there, this is Pick Benedict. We're playing God of War 3 on Chaos Difficulty, and this is my no upgrade run plus for the Protect the Chain sequence. So, ordinarily, this is a very problematic part, um, even on Chaos Mode with all the upgrades that you can do, but it should not give you a single problem with my strategy. It doesn't look like you have many options here, but what happens is the options are staring right in your face in the form of these undead soldiers here. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab a foe and ram them at the, the minotaurs. These are the armored minotaurs that you might be accustomed to if you've ever done Switchblade on the Trials of Exile. So they're not quite hittable. See, I'm trying to hold this guy until, the, until we start hitting them. Unfortunately, that guy got rammed right into the chain. Another alternative is just to simply throw the soldiers into these guys. Um, into the minotaurs, that is. But if there are a lot of undead soldiers in the vicinity, you might throw soldiers at soldiers. So you could actually weed the numbers down a little bit because like this part, for instance, it won't transition to the next phase until you kill all the soldiers. So as long as you have like three or four left, I, I would, I would, I'm more comfortable with like a half a dozen just in case Kratos accidentally rams them into the chain or what have you. But I did this nearly flawlessly the last time I did this guide and I want that to give you confidence because this is a really difficult section. For instance, if you're trying to do the Olympic Fury on these guys, which is the six square button presses, it's it's a kind of a gamble whether it's even going to um, fling them backwards, even stun them at all. But another um, alternative you can do is to do the combat grapple and that will um, take them out of their their posture and then ram them backwards. It's just that this tactic is what I would call an advanced tactic and it works a lot better. So here are some more of these guys. We don't want to kill them all. We do want to kill the the archers in the distance so we'll fire. Um, it's pretty good at firing at the the enemies on the other cube and then what we're gonna have happening is we're gonna have another two armored minotaurs coming and they're they're just gonna spawn right up from the the bottom of the cube like the bottom of the ground over here so just keep these guys around and these minotaurs actually got in a lot of hits but if you're in endeavoring to try to hit them normally you'd be surprised at how many hits they could actually get off on that chain so you know just grab ram into them and then just throw them off it's such a it's so good of a strategy and this guy here even if it's even if you get one of them one of them off it, the the difficulty goes down by 50 percent so here's me doing the combat grab a little bit the chain's getting a little bit more red but trust me you can get a lot more red than that and the next part we're gonna have a mini Cerberus come and we'll have some more lackeys the thing to do on this next part is to get the O button prompt on the Cerberus and it won't fade and then what you want to do is you want to systematically kill all these lackeys you don't want to use the the Cerberus to kill any of these small lackeys because he has a duration of how many of how many uh, times you can use the fire and the flame to kill the enemies you want to use every single of every bit of the duration that you can use the fire on the armored minotaurs like you don't want to waste it even on these little underlings here so the best thing that I know to do is just to grab one of them press triangle instantly kills them you have iframes and that uh, circle button prompt is not going to fade so at this point you want to hop on to the dog and you will get the armored minotaur is coming up and you're going to be over overrun by them but the conceit here works perfectly because we can use this thing to destroy them so I would target the ones with the um, anytime you get an O button prompt make sure you finish that off because otherwise you're gonna to have to finish it off uh, manually when you get down so you notice that he has a stamina he'll stop firing and then you could have one more burst of fire and then you're gonna to have to kill him and then at this point I think I killed everybody except this one guy here and that's the end of the sequence uh, a very intimidating sequence but if you do my strategy it's it's completely simple it's it's redundant and easiest thing in the world